This is Crystal Selwyn. I spent some time with her earlier this year, a wonderful woman who was trying to get ahead in life. She was killed at the weekend, the 22nd person to have died this year in an alleged domestic violence incident. Crystal Selwyn was a true Kiwi battler, a solo mum trying to get a break. When I met Crystal back in May, she was working five nights a week as a cleaner. She had really bad teeth and wanted new ones to help her get a better job. A lot of jobs and stuff that I want to look at is all to do with customer services and I don't even feel confident to go into a job interview and be like, hey, um, I want to be your front line face sort of thing. Crystal had eight kids, six at home to look after and to support on the sidelines at their sport. You want to cheer them on as much as possible, but at the same time you're like, <laughs> yeah. you know, sort of thing. On Sunday, Crystal died after an alleged assault at her home in Hamilton. She was 38 years old. A 36-year-old man has been charged with wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm and police aren't looking for anyone else. The world has definitely lost... An amazing woman. <laughs> I'm sorry. The death shocking Crystal's family, like sister-in-law Stephanie Penny. The younger six kids watched it, watched it happen, and they tried to protect their mum, but, you know, they'll be scarred for the rest of their life. The 22nd death attributed to domestic violence this year, the highest number in six years. On average, there are two deaths a month. We need to be loud and we need to scream from the rooftops that it's not OK. It's the last time that I've had an infection. It has actually swollen half my face up, um, where I've ended up at the hospital and stuff, because, and it's looked like I've been sucker punched in the eye. Crystal had a genetic condition that meant her teeth were very soft. Every tooth had rotted and needed to be removed. Extractions are very expensive, so I was hoping they'd just fall out and I can go get dentures, but apparently that doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> her extractions and dentures were estimated to cost $8,259, but dentist Aseel Russell and the Revive a Smile charity offered to do it for free. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> You deserve it. You always put your family first. For our original story, we were using Crystal as the face of low-income working Kiwis who could not afford dental care. I ended our coverage like this. And we will be there when she gets her dentures. We will show you that smile. We can't keep that promise. And now we are using her as the face of another shameful aspect of New Zealand society, domestic violence. Crystal was all about her family. They have set up Give A Little Pages to raise money for her kids. She's gone and that her eight babies have lost a mum a month before Christmas. It's cruel. It's so cruel. Cruel and far too common. Crystal's dentist says those dentures have actually been finished. She had an appointment last week at which they would have been put in but she couldn't make it. She was rescheduling and very excited to get her new teeth and show her kids them before Christmas. But they won't get to see Crystal smile. Nobody will.